at the centre of the fully integrated railroad crossing system is, of course, the lamplighter flasher unit. To that can be attached the railroad crossings, which come with fibres attached already, and they just plug into the light outputs of the flasher unit. And then, of course, there are detectors. We have side-on detectors, and these are housed in what look like electrical boxes. We have two different sizes of those, easily mounted beside the railroad line. And then we have vertical detectors as well. Those get mounted underneath the rail track itself. And then these get connected through power from the lamplighter flasher unit, as you can see in the diagram, and their outputs are connected to the input trigger of the lamplighter flasher unit. And the only other component you're going to need is a crossing bell. And the crossing bell will just add vibrancy to your whole setup. If you don't want to do any wiring, you just add the terminal blocks, which can be used both for the voltage output from the flash unit, as well as for connecting the triggers in. And that way, you don't have to do any wiring at all. So that really is the system. You can see it here. All other components are just laid out for you. So when you go to order, just simply select how many detectors you need, how many railroad crossings you need. And if you're going to use a double track system, as you see here, then I'd recommend, of course, using four detectors. And you can mix and match vertical detectors and side-on detectors. Enjoy. Bye for now.